Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, all glory, and all honor being to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Bracha Hakodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who rule well. Salutations to the hopefully elect out there pushing his word in truth, sincerity, and indeed. Shabbat Kapatazar from the great millstone Chicago branch coming at you with another quick and Lord willing edifying lesson. And this lesson is going to be titled Kingdom Minded. All right. The idea behind being kingdom minded is to not set as the lord told us not to set our affections on things of this world where moth and dust does corrupt but to set our affections and our heart on the things above where moth and rust does not corrupt okay all this shit here everything that we're dealing with is temporal the only thing that's forever is this truth that's it the truth endures throughout all generations okay the truth is the is the power is through the spirit okay the truth is a pure influence coming from the throne of the heavenly father okay and what it has its effect on the living here in earth all right the truth lasts forever okay so in order for us to be kingdom minded our mindset has to be upon this truth and preaching this gospel okay everything else is temporal it's bullshit it's not going to mean anything you may learn a few things here and there but whatever you do learn, it needs to be filtered and applied through the truth. OK, that's the only way it's going to have any profitability. Whatever you learn, whatever it is you put your hand to do, if it is for things of carnality and it cannot be related back to this truth or it does not give you another layer of understanding of the truth, you're wasting your goddamn time. OK, this shit is going to burn up here in America. All right. Things are going to happen. So as long as we are kingdom minded. And our eyes is on the prize of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, we're gonna be all right. Okay? This is Philippians chapter 3, verse 7. But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Yahweh Shai, right? So, you know, you may have had a good job, you know, you may have had a woman that loved you. You know what I mean? You might have been in a decent case, you know, just just what you thought was living your best life until you got uh introduced and awoken to this truth. So those things that you gained in the world, you count them as lost for you. How shy because you're going to lose them. <laughs> All right. That's for damn sure. All right. You're going to you're not going to uh, you're going to lose that good job. You know, you're going to or you're you're going to start to go through adversities at this good job. You know, you're going to lose that woman. All right. <laughs> you know, you're going to start to change for the better. Putting off the old man. That woman's going to end up leaving you. All right. You may not be uh, the same father you once were. And this is a, this is for good. All right. Your children may start to look at you kind of crazy. Man, what the fuck, man? Pop's tripping. All right. These things are to come. Your family is going to uh, you're going to be isolated from your family. You're going to be the oddball. You know, you're going to be alienated. You're going to be uh, the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The outcast, the black sheep of the family. OK, but one thing I'm noticing is. Most of the brothers that's in this truth that I've been laboring with, we were always the black sheep of the family. <laughs> so it's just like, it's whatever, you know, it, it ain't nothing new to me preaching to the choir. Okay. But those things you're going to lose. You, hey man, it is what it is. The point is verse eight, Philippians three and eight. Yeah, doubtless. And I count all things, but loss for the excellency of Yahweh Shai, Salakia, for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, my Lord. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may win Yahabashai. So everything that you lose, hey, you just look at it like dung, like shit. Okay, this ain't shit. So what? I lost this good paying job. That money ain't shit. The money ain't going to get you into the kingdom. Money is only a defense. Okay. But what? If we have faith in Yahabashim, Yahabashai, hey, through that, we can do all things. Everything will be accomplished. We're going to have all things common. OK, so none of that means a goddamn thing. <laughs> All right. Hey, man, we we kingdom. Hey, man, we looking for the kingdom. All right. We looking for a continuing city where all good things dwell. I'm not trying to build no foundation. I'm not looking to try and retire. Esau's coming with the goddamn Karagma, the MOTB. What the hell? I want to look for a life in a place that's going to be burned with nuclear fire. OK. What, what life is there? There is no life. All right. These people with these mandates. 
All right, they letting Bill Gates turn niggas into Xboxes, man. You know, <laughs> and then what? After you've been turned into an Xbox, that 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 final software you need is that Karagma. All right, you're gonna be a full blown Xbox One. All right, a mindless sheep enjoying the last few minutes of a dead kingdom right before the nukes. All right, so hey. We at the end, man. Don't none of this shit mean nothing. Period. You ain't missing nothing. All right. This is the book of Romans. Chapter eight. What are you missing? Huh? You can't even breathe fresh. You don't breathe fresh air. The water you drink is trash. All right. The food you eat is trash. OK. Completely poison. These women are tainted. All right. Your children get tainted through this fool system. Shit, we're tainted. Our bodies are tainted. All right. So what what are you really missing? You ain't missing shit. This is Romans chapter eight, verse 18. It says, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. See that? Scripture say, man, our ears have not heard. I have not seen. OK. What, what the Lord has prepared for them that love him. OK. We're getting ready. Hey, man, we, we, we searching for life eternal. All right. I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to beat death here, man. All right. I'm not, I'm not, hey man, my 401k is your how about shimmy how was shy. <laughs> All right, that's my 401k. All right, the fuck out of here, man. This is the book of John, chapter 10, verse 10. The thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. Who's that thief? Esau, eat him. Why would I want to continue in a life where I'm being ruled over by the vilest, most basest of all men, most wicked in all the world? What kind of life is that, man? OK, I'm going to be under the rulership of a fucking peasant. A goddamn caveman. That is not life, man. There's no sovereignty in that. I don't want it. <laughs> I want your how about shim your how shy. That's what I want. OK, your how shy says I am come that they might have life and that they may have it more abundantly. See, so we ain't living. We're alive, but we ain't living. OK, until you are immortal and in the kingdom of heaven, the earth is given its increase. There's peace on earth. OK, corruption is, is overcome. Then then you're going to start to live. Then you're going to have life more abundantly. True sovereignty. You see. All right. Things are in order. Truth and peace are met together, as it says in uh, 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 the book of Psalms. Righteousness is just reverberating throughout the earth. That's that's living. All right. This other shit, this ain't this ain't life, man. All right. But Yahweh Shai is going to give us life eternal and we're going to have it abundantly, man. All right. That's 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 what we looking for. That's being kingdom minded. OK, as for this shit. Hey, man, you can have this shit. <laughs> All right. Esau, you got it. You can have all this bullshit. You two thirds. Hey, do your thing. Y'all can have this. All right. Because this shit right here is for the birds. So with that, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Kakwadash. Shalom to the hopefully elect. The few sisters out there that's listening and learning, trying to get right like the rest of us. To you, I say Shalom and a Baba Ball.